training. Something a lot of people are skipping out on. So I just finished up a six mile walk, mostly a property patrol, area patrol, and getting used to the gear. As fit as I am, it still kicks my ass sometimes. That's why it is important to train. So it's one thing to have all this gear. It's another thing to actually wear it and go shooting, go to your ranges and train. But actually getting out and moving distances with it. And I'm not talking about like combat ranges and all that. Just going for a long walk with your stuff on. It's something I think a lot more people need to do. For one, you actually start to notice where your gear might be set up in not the best way. So you'll start to notice pinch points. <clears throat> Once you add a ruck to a plate carrier, <laughs> you'll see what discomfort is, especially after an hour. But getting out and moving around, it lets you feel where you might need to change your gear and it'll definitely tell you if you're fit or not. So do I suggest people go out there and do five mile runs with a plate carrier and ruck every single day? Absolutely not. In fact, the combat fitness videos that I've put up so far, exercises and workouts like that, those are perfect to actually prepare your body for the rigors of moving in your gear. And as a matter of fact, it's actually not very good for you to do a lot of running with weighted vests, plate carriers and such. There's been plenty of agencies that have done a lot of research on this and they found that athletes who trained with plate carriers and rucks and did a lot of running wear on that stuff, they were a lot more prone to injury, but they saw no extra benefit in working out wearing their gear. Whereas athletes who just trained worked on their core, strength, endurance, aerobic power. They actually saw the best benefit in overall performance with a lower chance of injury. So my suggestion is pick up some kind of basic strength training program. On the days you're not lifting, do your aerobic training. That could be your HIIT exercises, your body weight conditioning. It could be your longer endurance runs. So if you ever have to conduct longer movements wearing this stuff in boots, you'll know what areas to already look out for. You'll find uncomfortable positions and pinch points within your gear, things that only show up after three, four, five, six miles, and you'll be able to correct those. Most importantly, you'll get an added training benefit. Covering long distances with heavy weight on you, not running, but just trying to walk as fast as possible, there ain't no workout like it. So make sure you're staying fit all throughout the week. We wanna focus on strength, cardio, endurance, and power. Listen to your body so you don't get hurt, and a couple times a month, put some stuff on and go out there and challenge yourself. And until that next video, I'll see y'all out there. Take care of yourselves.